what's going on everybody uh to let you know i actually was not intending on recording this video today um i've been hearing uh stories <clears throat> of one particular incident but to know that there's two incidents in a short period of time I'm overwhelmed with emotion on one hand, you know, like, I want to cry. On the other hand, I'm very, very upset. I'm angry. So many different emotions running through me right now, and I'll explain to you why. <clears throat> For these stories, uh, pretty much all of them will be... Uh, on my uh, Facebook uh, fan page that link will be down below so if you guys want to check that out check well check these out that would be the uh, place to uh, find it and not just for that reason and you have to excuse me I'm trying to pull this up but also <clears throat> I already know that this video is probably going to be you know hit because of the sensitive nature but what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to post the uh, footage of one of like, I'm not gonna post the footage in the video but what I will do is like I said it is on my Facebook fan page link is down below and from there you guys will be able to see this just for yourselves and be able to keep the conversation going with me down below <clears throat> again before I continue like I said I I'm not here to argue with anybody. I'm not. And if you feel as if that is what you want to do, again, I'm not going to delete your comments. You can comment. It's a, like I said, freedom of speech. And freedom of speech does have a consequence. Just know that I will not be arguing with anyone. That is what I will not do. I will have a, um, <clears throat> I am willing to have an intelligent conversation or in dialogue so willing to do that what I will not do is I'm not going to sit here and argue especially with someone that has nothing but hate in their hearts I'm not going to do that so pull this up <clears throat> so there's a news report and this happened in Charlotte Mecklenburg and apparently this is I guess a subdivision of Charlotte, North Carolina. And like I said, I am currently, you know, in Fayetteville, North Carolina. So, <clears throat> I'm in North Carolina, you guys. Apparently, allegedly, well, not even allegedly, not even apparently. Actually, what I'll do is I'll read some of this to you. A disarmed black man has died at a hospital after being shot by a Charlotte Mellenberg police officer Tuesday afternoon on Old Concord Road in University City, a subdivision of Charlotte, North Carolina. The police officer said they were searching for someone who had outstanding warrants when they saw a man with a gun leave a vehicle. The victim was not the subject of the search, says Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Chief Kerr Putney. According to police reports, the man who has not been named returned to his vehicle. When they approach the man, they claim he posed an immediate deadly threat to the officers. And one of them opened fire. An eyewitness told the victim's daughter that a taser was used on her father and then he was shot three times. So this is a disabled black man not doing anything and continuing on in that story he was simply just reading and walked up on him he posed some immediate type of threat with no weapon on him and first instinct is to shoot why 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 is that the first instinct and of course if that is the first instinct then why are you so fearful of a disabled man who does not have a weapon and he is not even who you are searching for not at all but you choose to engage 
So now here we here we have another fatherless child, another parentless child, shot in cold blood, died at the hospital, but still shot in cold blood. The person's name is nameless. I'm waiting. I'm truly waiting to hear the like people's rationale as to why this man was shot. I'm waiting. It, it might even come in the comment section of this video. Like, again, this is upsetting. It's disturbing. I've even said to a friend of mine, you don't know what it's like to be a black man in America. You have no idea how it is getting in your car. And this is more or less me speaking, getting in your car and not knowing if you're going to return home. Not knowing if you are going to return home. Where when you see a police officer in your rear view, unrelated, automatically that anxiety builds. Because you don't know. Because you see so many people that look just like you. That get shot in cold blood. And nothing happens. Because I damn sure don't want to be a hashtag. Let alone nameless. I'll even admit being transparent for those of y'all who have been on my channel. Y'all know that I travel from Illinois to North Carolina. I normally travel during the nighttime to make the most of the time because not that many people are driving at night. I chose not to. I chose to drive during the day. It took me longer to make this trip because I drove during the day because I, God forbid, if I, and I did not, praise God, but what would happen if I would have had any police interaction? I'd rather have it during the day than at night. But why should I have to feel that way? Why should I have to think that way? There are, there are days that I have to get in my car before daylight hits. And I'm concerned as to whether or not I'm even going to make it to that destination. Or will I be another damn hashtag? I shouldn't have to feel that way. And at the same exact time, I am getting tired of reading these stories about my fellow brothers getting killed. And better yet, before I finish, let, let me get to the other one. Let me get to the other one. And we have someone that's now another hashtag. Terrence Crutcher. Hopefully I'm not saying the man's name wrong. His car was stalled. So apparently having car trouble. Police stop. You hear, oh, that looks like a bad dude. Why? Because he's a tall, stocky black man. So, so he looks like a bad dude because of his build. Uh huh. So automatically, I guess this right here is where that fear comes in. Apparently, allegedly. Now we have surveillance, many different degrees. We even have aerial view. This man is being compliant has his hands up and then all of a sudden he posed some type of a fucking threat so he is tased and then he is shot cold and when the shit initially leaked the officer in question who happened to be a female I'm not going to say what race she is. I'm pretty sure you already know. And if you don't, you can just click the link down below. You will find out. Apparently, apparently, she felt threatened. And it was even said that they lied and said that he was reaching for a gun inside of his vehicle. Which was far from the truth. And now we're going to backpedal because... There's, of course, there's video, there's audio, and I guess they weren't anticipating there being an aerial view of this. 
it is too much it is too much that this is what like I said most people would never understand the struggle the pain I can sympathize and empathize with these families and even though these men are no longer here my heart still beats for them this needs to stop and what is so crazy and what is so infuriating and I'm doing my best to control my emotions I'm doing my best to control my emotions but what is so sad and so infuriating is when rather than address the topic at hand we try to sit here and place blame on the victim god forbid if we do that for someone that got raped let's use let's just use a female for example female gets raped oh well she shouldn't have been drinking Oh, well, she shouldn't have been wearing what she was wearing. Or why would she be wearing that? And then why would she be out by herself and it's dark? So pretty much, we're going to sit here and justify why a man or even a woman who has no respect for another person, where we're going to make excuses for them and we're going to blame the victim. How? Houseway. And how that makes absolutely no damn sense and defies all logic, it is no different <clears throat> than people saying, had he just had his hands up, he did. Had he just complied, he did. He did. And I'm getting so fucking tired of hearing people say, if you just comply, you won't get shot. When there are many, many black people who have complied and they are still not here. But they become a damn hashtag. So, hashtag Black Lives Matter.